Hi, I am Dr. Guru Prasad Hosokar, consultant neurologist at uh, Columbia Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur. My special interest is uh, Parkinson disease and movement disorders. Parkinson disease is usually classified as primary Parkinson disease or secondary Parkinsonism. Primary Parkinson disease is the common idiopathic Parkinson disease where there is a neurodegenerative basis and then they uh, follow a certain path of onset of symptoms and progression. Whereas secondary Parkinsonism, you have so many other causes for that. One is the atypical Parkinsonism, uh, where you have multiple system atrophy, progressive pronicular palsy, CBGD, all this come under atypical Parkinsonism. So there, the clinical features are slightly different. The progress is more rapid. There can be uh, symmetrical onset Parkinsonism. They have early falls. There can be memory loss. So all that clinical features need to be assessed and then quantified and then the diagnosis is made. We also take help of imaging or uh, uh, MRI imaging or nuclear scan to differentiate between these two uh, typical or atypical Parkinsonism and then make a diagnosis. We are specifically talking about secondary Parkinsonism where you can have uh, drug induced Parkinsonism or metabolic uh, reasons for Parkinsonism like hyponatremia or other infective causes for Parkinsonism. Uh, you need to get the history of uh, exposure to uh, infective agents or investigations to uh, back up your diagnosis of uh, thing. So the clinical presentation will be different in, in the form that the progression, the onset is more faster, the progression is more faster, it's more symmetric involvement. There are also associated uh, non-motor symptoms like change in behavior, change in conscious level, early falls, more axillary involvement than the limb involvement. So these are some of the clinical features we look into when we are looking at secondary Parkinsonism. Specifically speaking about vascular Parkinsonism, where vascular Parkinson's is, what it means is that there are ischemic changes in the brain leading to Parkinsonism. So you have small infarcts in the brain, either it is related to chronic hypertension, chronic diabetes or multiple infarcts in the past causing Parkinsonism features. But here the salient features is that the lower limbs are more involved than upper limbs. The gait is more affected. They become slow in terms of walking. They can't initiate gait. They can't walk faster uh, as compared to a person who has a typical Parkinsonism. So more lower limb Parkinsonism is classical of atherosclerotic or vascular Parkinsonism. And they also have urinary incontinence associated with this type of uh, Parkinsonism. Upper limbs are not so involved uh, early on than later they become slow in their upper limbs as well. The masking of face, the speech is not much affected early on in vascular Parkinsonism.